The next group of settings I'd like to go over are our time clock settings for business and premium members. Under the time clock tab is where you'll be able to enable Sling's time clock feature. This will allow your employees to either clock in via their mobile device or desktop, and business members can create kiosk sessions, which allows users to clock in and out from a terminal that the admin creates whether it's on an iPad, a tablet, or a computer. With the kiosk sessions, each user would need a time clock pin that can be entered or randomly generated in their profiles that they would use to clock in and out with. You'll also see settings that you can customize according to your company. These include rounding the clock in and out times to the nearest increment of five, 10, or 15, automatically clocking employees out when their shift is over, or setting a number of minutes after the shift has ended that they'd be automatically clocked out, specifying if and when your employees can clock in before their shift, creating geofencing parameters, and allowing your employees to clock in and out without a scheduled shift. Finally, you can enable or disable a feature that would allow your employees to edit their own timesheets. Let's go back to this geofencing feature. You'll notice that you can create GPS geofencing and or IP address geofencing. If you enable the GPS geofencing, this will essentially create a radius that you create around the physical location that you've entered for each location that you have in your account. Your employees would then need to be within that radius before they can clock in and out. If you enable the IP address geofencing feature, this means your employees must be connected to the same Wi-Fi as your location before they can clock in and out. Please note that when you enable IP address geofencing, you'll need to set up an IP address per location. An option to set an IP address for each location will only be visible after you enable this IP address geofencing.